Here we are at the Intuit website. Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. That's at I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. We're looking to set up our free 30-day trial so we have a sandbox to be working our test company file. Remember that your other free option to practice with QuickBooks Online is the QuickBooks Online test drive file. To find that option, I think it's easiest to just type into your favorite search engine QuickBooks Online test drive. But we're gonna be on the Intuit website. Intuit has multiple softwares that they own. I'm gonna go from here to, of course, the QuickBooks software. Remembering that there are two major categories of QuickBooks software, desktop and online versions. Their main sales page for QuickBooks will typically be pointing towards the online version of the software, but it still looks a little bit different than if we go directly to the online sales page. So I would typically go all the way down. You can see you don't have like the free option right here. It doesn't indicate that. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, then for a long time, for many years, they have had their products listed at the bottom of their page. And if I go into the products and look at the QuickBooks Online product, I get a slightly different sales page than just the QuickBooks overall sales page, which does have this uh, try it for 30 days uh, option right here. And if I toggle down, you also see it in this toggle option down below. Now, if for whatever reason, that sales page changes and you find it difficult to find the free 30 day trial on the Intuit website itself, I would recommend trying just as we saw with the, with the uh, QuickBooks Online test drive, just typing it into your favorite search engine and then looking for the browsers uh, that have an extension of Intuit.com and maybe sometimes it might be easier to find it that way than actually on the website. But this method has been applicable for years now and uh, a way that you can find it is pr pretty much the same. So now you've got this toggle button that toggles from the free trial uh, or not having the free trial. Now, if you toggle it over, it's quite scary because it doubles all the prices down below, right? <laughs> so, so uh, what we wanna make sure that we're doing is planning what we're gonna use the trial for. Are we testing out the company file that we're using the trial for so that we can later purchase it? Uh, or because if we lock ourselves in to put in the data that we really need and putting new data into the system for that 30 day trial, then we're pretty much locked in to continuing to use that particular software. So what we wanna plan on doing is using the 30 day trial as a testing period. And then if we wanna purchase the software, possibly start another company file or look at our purchasing options, you know, at that point in time, that's going to be our uh, plan here. Now you've got the different software options below the simple start, the essentials, the plus, depending on how big your company is, one of these options, you know, might be better or worse. Notice you, they're highlighting the differentiations between the options over here. The main things that are going to be important is that we want to be dealing with inventory uh, or possibly we might have inventory needs. If you have inventory needs, then you're gonna go up to the plus, which is most popular, unless you have more advanced needs where you're gonna go into the advanced needs. If you have just a service company business and you don't need a lot of different users, that's when you might be able to step down from the plus to essentials and the simple start. But the plus is the recommended most popular option. And so that's the one we wanna practice with in our free trial. So I'm gonna to toggle this over to free trial. I'm not gonna let it scare me that it jumps up to the 85 uh, a month. I'm gonna choose the option and I'm not gonna let it deviate me from taking the trial period. So now it, it has the payroll. Now I think you can actually add the payroll as a free 30 day trial as well so that you can possibly practice uh, with the payroll but it's not something that, that we're gonna be really working on at this point. If it is something that you wanna practice with, possibly you can get access to the payroll, which is a whole nother world in of itself. Uh, you can do a whole courses, multiple courses on different payroll settings and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue without it. That's like an add up or a step up kind of feature from like a marketing you know, standpoint. And then uh, notice here, you've got your free 
your free trial for 30 days. So it's still on the free 30 day trial. If you don't have an account, then you could set up an account with Intuit. Now, if you already have an account, you might still be able to get access to the free 30 day trial because even though you have a, an account and possibly a company file, you are setting up a new company file. And therefore you would have to, if you'd have to pay more if you, if you were running the two company files separately. So we're testing out a new company file, which hopefully we can get a 30 day trial on, or we need to set up an account so that we can do our uh, 30 day trial. That's our plan. Now notice it may ask for your payment information like credit card information, PayPal or bank transfer or something like that. But hopefully we still have it on the 30 day trial. So it's not going to be billing me for it, but that will lock us in if we don't cancel it, <laughs> you know, before the 30 day trial period is over. So that's going to be, we'll need possibly a payment option, possibly to run the 30 day trial. And of course, we're going to, if we do that, need to basically cancel the subscription, which Intuit is a, is a big uh, company and whatnot. And so it, you should be, there shouldn't be any funny business going on for the most part for, to be able to cancel before uh, the 30 day trial period is up. Okay. So for the company address, I'm going to put in an address of a house I looked up on uh, Beverly Hills. And then of course you want to uh, take a look at the terms of service and make sure you're uh, in alignment with the terms of service. Now we're going to provide just the basic information we need to get the company file set up. Some of these items we're going to skip through because they're not essential to first setting up the company file and we can typically go back into them and adjust them later. So welcome. Uh, we're glad you're here. Uh, tell us what you, you need help with and so on and so forth. I'm going to say next. Uh, what do you call your business? I'm going to call this tests company file company file 100 and we're going to say next and have you been managing your finances no matter where you're coming from we're here to help so nothing i'm i'm getting started this is kind of for informational purpose purposes uh internally for intuit so i'm just going to pick some an item here quickbooks desktop if you had quickbooks desktop and you were transferring then you can go through the option of basically transferring the data file spreadsheets or pen and paper and it might help you to kind of walk through how to get up the new company file so in other words you might have a company file uh, if you're setting up a quickbooks file where you had no prior company file you're setting it up from scratch or you might have a prior accounting system possibly quickbooks desktop possibly you know peachtree sage 50 or pen and paper and whatnot, in which case your question is, do you wanna be importing all that prior data in some way, shape or form into the QuickBooks system or kind of cutting a line, drawing a line in the sand at the end of the year or something like that and just entering the balance sheet in essence so that you can go forward into the current year. So I'm gonna go ahead and say nothing. So how long has a file been in business? So I'm gonna go and say under a year and this is probably for mainly internal purposes. I don't think this is gonna have an impact on the creation of your statement. They're gathering data here generally.